Hey old double one eight Seth Shadow here. Well, today was another announcement from Bushi Road for additional cards we're getting out of D set five. So we'll be talking a little bit about that. But before that, I do want to talk about upcoming products for the next two months. So in the next few weeks, we'll be getting Destin Showdown, which is going to be our fourth Divine Z booster pack. The sneak preview is supposed to start next week, and then the set itself will release the week after that. When it comes to prices, I don't think I really need to say any differently as I usually do, but these pre-sales are along the lines of what we'll typically see of these boxes. We're at $63 base for the box, $1,250 for the case, and $7 right now when it comes to packs. Now... One thing I will say, though, is that we're going to see changes in these base prices once we start getting to Divine Set 5, though, where prices are going to be increasing from there on. So be aware that if you do somehow see prices at this level for D Set 5, well, I mean, they're still high, but you might even want to consider taking advantage of them. The next thing I want to talk about is our next starter deck spe the stardust blade deck which currently for pre-sale right now this is 29 dollars and this should be coming around november 18th if i remember correctly for those of you who don't know the theme of the deck it's supposed to be centered around the virgila series which this series was introduced to us in illusionless strife which is divine set 2 most of these should get reprinted inside of that deck along with a new regulus piece blitz order i believe it's a blitz order which is exclusive to the deck itself the deck should be coming with its own energy generator too so keep that in mind as well making it so that it'll be like buying the trial decks that we got with the energy generators to begin with and thankfully that means we'll get more energy generators into the overall market too so as the secondary market goes Hopefully, we'll see a decrease in price in those generators, right? I hope. I guess while we have Virilga's FR up here, we can take a look at where it's at. This is the boss unit. Currently, 570 for its base price. 24 listings, and this card has not been bought for a few months now. Low price for sales has been under $5, while the high price is about $8.50. Bracing Angel Ladder has been seeing an increase in price on the Triple Rare from Divine Set 3, but a massive decrease in price on the Triple Drive Booster variant. So now they're starting to align closer and closer to $15. $14.30 is the base price for the, for the Set 3 version, which is just under $15, whereas the Triple Drive Booster now has a base price of $18.22, and the market price is currently around $38. Just to make sure that the triple drive one is actually getting that much lower. It looks like it is. It's consolidated in these first three listings at 20. So we'll have to see whether or not we stay at 15 for the set three version. Or it actually shoots up to 20 to match with the original. And then from there, it's one's guess as to whether or not it'll keep going higher or just kind of stick around 20. Silver Star Dragon Safer. This is the discard cycler that comes out of Festival 2024 for Brantgate. And I wanted to call this one out because this one has seen some very volatile motion in terms of its listing quantities. Price-wise, it's still doing about the same in terms of its market price. Overall, it's on an increase right now, but it's still lower than the market price was from the start of its release. Currently, the market price is around $6, but it's only got 9 listings. And the number of quantities that have been selling have dropped off, but the price rate of sales has been going up. Although the number of listings has been increasing here and there, and then it just kind of drops off after that. So I'd watch this one, especially with more Brandgate supports coming out that might intend, might intend to use it. On top of that... Given that Messiah is getting new support from Divine Set 6, that could lead this card to see some more play. Leo Amorta saw a massive drop-off after 
the hype train that it got before the reveal of its new support. Although, now that we have the new reveal of Gob Weltus, which some players are considering using it with Leo Amorta, I wanted to revisit and see where this card is at. I mean, Divine Set 2 in general is seeing a lot of gains on a lot of its different triple rares. So right now, Leo Amorta's triple rare has 29 listings available. The number of sales has decreased over the last month, and the market price is back on a decline, but overall it's much higher than it was before at a current rate of 1029. Currently, when it comes to availability, it's closer to $10 when it comes to consolidation, but there are listings that are currently $8 or under. If you're looking at picking up online 2023 token Rambu, well, box prices are still cheap right now, but the number of listings on the boxes has dropped off somewhat. We have it at 2065 for the lowest listing, and in terms of consolidation, we're still looking at about $22. So there's still plenty available when it comes to picking them up on the cheap side. Not to mention, they've only been selling sporadically. And we've had sales as low as $13, $14, but I imagine that had a shipping tag associated with it. It's a shame they never actually show the combined rate there. Although I do want to call out that the triple rare of Himitsuru Ichimonji, which I talked about a few times, is now down to two listings. And in terms of how many are available, only three copies overall. The card is now a $15 card, which is its high sale price as well. And right now the market price is currently around $10.50. So if you are looking to build Token Rambu and you need this, well, they're running out. And then one of the other things that got announced today is the is the oh, uh, Lord or yeah the King Lord form of Razael. So talking a little bit about it, it's effectively it'll have Persona Ride kind of like what we saw with Levi Drakus from Stoikia. But the effect is a little bit is in my opinion in my opinion it's a little bit lackluster. But to be fair. The Divine series and D format in general was never supposed to be introducing anything that would just be obscenely ridiculous as upgrades for new cards. So between what we're seeing with Vargra, with Rezael, and with Levi Dracus, nothing is ridiculously overpowered in comparison to the original. Right now, Rezael has a lot of listings on the market for its triple rare around the $5, $4 mark. If you want the silver rare right now, it's $15 base, and there are still a good amount of listings. The FFR, the DSR, and the secret rare are all under 10 listings overall. Pricing-wise, all of them are underneath their current market prices. So if you are looking to build based off the new Rezael support, well, I mean, since it is still a faded one, it can still work with Gobweltus without having to use the king, but the king is not bad either. With Vargra Dragus Musashi, I think it was Musashi, right? Or, yeah, I can't, I can't remember exactly what the trait name was. But when it comes to what you can use with the new Vargra, Drag Ritter Midhat just lost, lost some value in that deck. Because the new Varga Dragus also retires the back row on its restand, it means that Midhot would end up possibly retiring at the point of when the restand occurs. And since you have to pay by retiring the unit, you can no longer use it with a new Varga Dragus. Right now, the card is currently 50 cents for its low listing from the original set 7 common. And the promo versions are still around a dollar, and then the foil is currently five dollars for its base price. But I would imagine, I don't think you'll you're gonna be able to use this with a new Vargar Dragus. But something that could see more play as a result of that is Crimson Scale Sword Maestro Bernea. This was something that Vargar players were considering initially, but Midhot basically took over its slot for being overall more overall better. But this one could see a resurgence given that it's after the battle and you can use it firsthand as long as you retired something, which the new Vargra will do before it actually retires the back row. 
But in that case, Bernaria is currently just over 350 for its base listing on the double rare. And if you want the FR, it's currently available for as low as $8. Cage of Furious Star. In particular, the rare version of this from set 10, because this has a frame rare, which I've talked about a few times because it was buying out. But the rare is now a dollar plus. It has 18 listings available right now, but even the market price is almost $1.50, which is higher than the current base listing of $1.14. Consolidation is actually around $2 for this card. And in terms of quantity selling, it's still selling pretty well. Over the last three months, we've seen 411 copies sell based off this data. The number of sales has been dropping overall, but it's still selling all right. I mean, with the overall increase in price, naturally, players don't want to pick it up as much. Sylvan Hornby's Gabreg, which is from set three, orig the original set three. With Levy Dragus coming out soon, I imagine players are trying to get into this card as well. And... But ultimately, it's still an easy pickup. It's a double rare from set 3, and set 3 was printed quite a lot. So there are lots of quantities available on it. 30 listings starting at 50 cents for a double rare, which is not bad at all. And if you want the SP, it's currently at $6 base, but only 4 listings. And the last card for today is one of the new promos from the shop tournaments. Diablo Striker or Lindo. Last time I was talking about the Blitz support card, this time Dia and we also have a Diablo support card, which currently between its regular promo and the foil, two listings apiece and they're both in the $20 range for their base listings, but the market price on the foil is actually lower than that of the regular one. It also doesn't help that TCG player doesn't really give us images of the foils as much as they used to, which could also be leading to the regular ones getting more sales as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.